What's up guys? We're doing some more brakes today. Man, this is uh, a farm truck. I'll tell you what. This caliper was coated in mud. I already took a wire brush to it. Took my blower nozzle and my air, air compressor, blew that off. Oh, this thing was nasty. Get down to it. This should be a 13 millimeter on the calipers. We'll start off with taking those suckers off. door on the top one yeah this sucker's full of mud and rusty now these calipers they fit into a slot up here, up top. So you've got to, sorry about the traffic driving by, it's a nice day. So we've got to take the bottom out first. There's no peak hole to uh, kind of help press the caliper, really. Try to loosen it up like that a little bit. Oh no, on this side, the other side, it's the top. On this side, the bottom fits in. So you have, to, on this side, you take the top off first of the caliper. There we go. And I hate that they give you really short hoses on these. Kind of makes the job annoying. those suckers off but we've got ourselves a 21 millimeter bracket bolts they're gonna be on there pretty good you might want to have a breaker bar handy so this is a 2500 HD 8 lug You got these real deep rotors. And depending, those rotors can be out and stuck on there real good, especially if your e-brake's catching on them. We'll get around to that here in a second. Let's just get everything taken apart. And these pads still have quite a bit of life on them. The other side, the sliders on the caliper locked up and it wore out one pad to the point it was grinding. So we're changing the rotors too. That rotor was all ground up. Oh, this guy's locked on there good. Locked right onto the rotor. What we got a hammer for. Here we go. Alright. Wish there was a good spot to hang this caliper up. Now you're not gonna want a little hammer to get this rotor off. You want a bigger hammer. actually gonna come off pretty easy got lucky got real lucky these e-brakes they're looking pretty good there's still mud packed up in there and some brake dust and rust we'll give it a little blowing
And it looks like somebody's done these e-brakes before. Only got a hundred thousand miles. Looking good. I like it. Now we're gonna work on our caliper. We gotta get that sucker to turn back. Let's get our sliders out. And these are locked in there. They should break free. They're not too rusty inside. They've got some brake grease in there that I don't like using. It's like the white pasty stuff. It becomes stiff over time. That's why I use the sill glide. Oh, it doesn't get stiff like that. It's like white pasty brake grease. I've tried that brand before. I can't remember what it's called. Don't like it. Hey, we're taking these sliders out because they lock in over time. And they'll wear your brake pads out. Wear them funny. We'll take these to the wire wheel. Grease up these boots. Put the grease on there and throw them back in. That's how we do that. We get this caliper to press in. It's a dual piston and it's got a short brake hose. So that's really annoying. You can use your C-clamp or whatever, but I'm going to use these caliper compressor tools. Now you're going to want to open your bleeder screw. Let them press in easier. I haven't opened my bleeder screw. Also lets that old nasty fluid out. We're gonna do the fronts on this too and just go ahead and do a brake bleeding afterwards. The other caliper pressed in nice and easy. No problem. So I'm hoping this one does the same thing and doesn't cause too much of a trouble. I gotta lock this one in because if you start pressing one in, it's gonna press the other one out. So you wanna get get it locked in one way or another. Whatever tools you got laying around that you can use. easy I like it I just use that old brake pad the thinnest one from the other side that was grinding if you're putting new pads and rotors on you gotta make sure you have these calipers all the way in to fit over the thickness of the new pads and rotors Get a little stiff. Just the shortness of this hose makes it uncomfortable. The fact I don't have this truck up in the air, it weighs a ton. There's that side. I'll tighten this side up. Make sure you got those pistons all the way in. Do 
this bunch of mud here. I'm going to blow the mud out of that caliper. I'm going to take my little Dremel tool to the ears of this caliper. Clean that up. Use a wire brush, whatever. Dremel tool. There's a lot of rust build up there. We'll knock that off. The caliper moved back freely, so that's good. All right. Now we're going to take this mounting bracket, take these pads and hardware off. I got new hardware with my premium brakes. And these are locked in there tight. The rust builds up in between the hardware and the caliper and locks the pads in tight. So these need a good cleaning. So once we hammer these pads out and take the hardware off, I'm going to take my Dremel tool or wire wheel and get all the rust knocked off of here nice and clean. And put a little bit of grease in between the new hardware where I lock it in and the caliper mount to prevent that rust from locking in the new pads over time. And we're gonna assemble the brakes just like this, the new pads, because if you put this mounting bracket on first, it's almost impossible to feed this front pad in into place. So we're gonna put the pads on like this before we put the bracket on. Let me get this cleaned up and I'll be right back. All right guys, let me show you what I got going on here. Oh, I cleaned off those sliders in the caliper down here, greased them up, cleaned off my caliper, gave it another wire brushing and Use the Dremel to clean off the rust on those ears. That was nasty. Got the rest of the mud out of there. So that's all good. I got my mounting, I got my new road around. Spray that down with some brake cleaner. Get that shipping oil off. Got our mounting bracket all cleaned up with our new hardware in it. That hardware goes on a certain way, so pay attention to how it came off. That'll help you out. With the new rotor on and the bracket cleaned up and the pads in the bracket already. We can go ahead and start our bracket bolts. Get those put on. So these pads will try to fall out on you. Squeeze them together. So they don't fall out on you as you're tightening. Make sure you get these bolts nice and tight, like they were. Really torque on them. bolts are really nasty take them to the wire wheel and get them cleaned up there we go now we gotta slide this caliper on bottom side first make sure these sliders are all the way back in the caliper this caliper is gonna sit into the bottom groove I had a lot more trouble with the other side this one's Working a lot better, I like it. I made sure to clean off these little tabs that it fits into, it helps it slide in easier. All right, beautiful. You might have to tweak your caliper to get these bolts started kind of see on the top where it goes in sometimes you gotta grab this caliper and move it around a little bit there we go doing some outward pressure got it to start let's 
give her a little tap. Let's see if I can get it straightened out. Get a little wobble extender here so I can get on there. If you don't have a wobble extender, you go with a longer extender or clear that leaf spring so you can get on it. Use a wrench, whatever. Tighten down those real good, but not so good that you snap them. They are thin bolts. There we go. We are all done with the rears. We're going to do the front, bleed the brakes, call it a day. That's how you do the rear brakes on these.